It was an obvious and announced clean sweep of nearly all those who expressed love, gratitude and respect for this hero who rid the world of ISIS. Freedom. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. Other than just doing reactions channel, we also have other things that we do. But if you want us to react to something, you can comment below this video and we'll actually do it for you guys so other than doing reactions we also have a second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 where we post vlogs every weekend at least we try to post every weekend other than just posting vlogs and reactions we also have we also have other things that we do we've got a podcast you can find us on patreon and we do many things. Just feel free to check out the description box and find the links there. Other than that, I personally write short poems and short stories. You can check out my blog on WordPress and you can also check out my Instagram, Safani L. Everything should be linked somewhere on this channel or under this, below this video. So yeah, just feel free to check them out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Iman Madi, the software and you 2020 fifth anniversary special but before we get into this i'd like to give a big shout out to everyone that's been supporting us um encourage us to go on with this journey and other things as well you guys are the best and i hope you guys are doing all right and a big shout out to everyone that's been suggesting things so without wasting time let's get into the video Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq over a thousand years ago said Soon the city of Kufa will become empty of knowledge and knowledge will leave Kufa as a snake goes out of its lair. Then the knowledge will appear in a land called Qum. It will become the center of knowledge and merits. No one, not even the women at home, will be unaware of the religion of God. This will be close to the time of the reappearance of our Qa'im, Imam Mahdi in every era throughout the history of Islam, there has always been a hub and center. First it was Mecca, Medina, it then became Kufa. Today, the Islamic Republic of Iran is the flag bearer, the center, the headquarters of Islam. This is the heart of the global resistance against tyranny. And it is the only hope for the oppressed people of the world. Who are uniting to fight back against the oppressive world powers. That's why we are proud to be speaking to you from right here, the holy city of Qom. Ayatollah Sheikh Mohsen Araki is one of the great personalities of our time. An Islamic scholar, university lecturer and member of the Assembly of Experts, Majlis al Khubragan and Jami Mudarrasin of the Holy City of Qom. The Islamic Pulse team was honored to be visited by Ayatollah Araki, who appreciated our humble efforts, gave us a speech focused on the future direction of Islamic media in the world. <laughs> and also had an exclusive meeting with Islamic Pulse management. Our management briefed the team about the meeting. Anyhow, it was a huge honor and we learned a lot about the overall direction of Imam Khamenei when it comes to the soft war. It's obvious that Zio America has an agenda to strip society of religion, morality and ethics. And to attack Islam, spread disinformation and Islamophobia. Their weapons of mass deception are vast and powerful, but... Imam Khamenei has said, In our opinion, it is possible to defeat the Western Zionist media empire. It is possible to do this. If we all show willpower, we can accomplish this. And that's what we're gonna do. Now where do you come in all of this? What's your role? Well, the officers of the soft war are working tirelessly. Night and day in offices, studios and in cyberspace all over the world. Researchers, directors, producers, writers, camera and lighting men, techies, translators, managers, animators, uploaders, PR, graphic designers, actors, musicians, creative directors, all contributing themselves and their personal talents to the soft war. You just have to make sure that you commit an action 
purely for Allah's sake. This message needs messengers who will take this content that the officers have created and pass it on to others. Because while the revolutionaries have the message which is the solution to the world's problems, the enemy is doing everything it can to stop that message from reaching you. They're distracting people through mass entertainment. Misinformation through the news. Promoting certain profiles and blocking others. While our viewership was growing into the hundreds of thousands on Facebook, all our admins were suddenly and without warning blocked, disabled, deleted. What? The page was just left there without us even having any control over it. You could still go and see it now. On YouTube, it's worse. While our subscribers have increased, evidently there's a lot of people who are interested and attracted by the revolutionary message, our viewership keeps going down. Really? Really? Do you think that's a coincidence? No. I don't. And it's not just us. A lot of those who wish for a better world free from Zio American oppression have also been targeted. As many of you have realized that right after the Shahada of Commander Qasim Soleimani, there was an obvious and announced clean sweep of nearly all those who expressed love, gratitude and respect for this hero who rid the world of ISIS. Freedom of speech. <laughs> Well, this is what these biased platforms are doing. Thank God we still have WhatsApp. Oh, wait a minute. They blocked us from that too? Because of the filthy CIA. Uh, he means Facebook owns it. Would they really be doing this to all the revolutionaries if we weren't having an effect? Think about it. They are afraid of people waking up. They're afraid of the Islamic revolution. They're afraid of Islamic unity. They're afraid of the message of pure Muhammadan Islam. They want to extinguish the light of Allah with their mouths, but Allah refuses except to perfect his light. Although the disbelievers dislike it. Not only will we manage to resist them, but the message of pure Muhammadan Islam. The message of the Ahlul Bayt. Of mutual respect. The message of brotherhood. The message of the Quran. The message of love. The message of unity. The message of tolerance. The message of resistance against oppressors. Will reach. Will reach. Will reach. Every person on earth. Every person on earth. Every person on earth without a shadow of doubt, inshallah. We get a lot of people asking us about where to find our content. Well, do an internet search for Islamic Pulse followed by anything that you want to know about and then boom, like magic, see what comes up. We're all over the internet really. But there's no telling when our accounts might get taken down. Right now, the best and most reliable places where you can find us are our website, Telegram and Shia TV. And in the future, stay tuned, inshallah, because the best is yet to come. We're sending out a message and that message is simple. First of all, to all the believers and those searching for truth, we are here for you. Empowering you with guidance and knowledge. Inspiring you. Entertaining you. Cheering you up. Showing you the realities. Giving you a little dose of fear. Freeing your mind. Making Islam clear and simple for all. Diving a little deeper. Wherever you are. Second to all the enemies of Islam, we will find you and expose all your crooked ideologies. We will show the world your weaknesses. Wherever you are. And thirdly, O Imam Mahdi. May our souls be sacrificed for you. We lay our lives our efforts and our dreams before you and renew our pledge of allegiance to you. Because you are the one who will fill the world with justice and equity just as it is today filled with oppression and injustice. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. This video says it all. I'm sure you guys even wonder. We've gotten a few comments in the box saying why have you muted the audio or why did you delete this video and why this, why that. This video explains ev everything. Not just, I'll speak on YouTube because we're dealing with YouTube at the moment because I think we've said in the past videos get taken down when I guess to limit videos are always getting taken down i guess the reasons are found here were so much were faced with so much oppression and injustice and this says it all i love this video i loved everything about it that's why i keep saying please subscribe to our patreon or just check out our account because there's things that we can't post on here but patreon will allow us there's we don't even have to mute anything there because 
it's free they say we've got freedom of speech but they still limit us on this platform and other platforms as well so let me know what you guys think i actually have a video for patreon i think i'll be posting it after this this just put me in a good mood because people are standing up and saying no to what these other platforms are doing to get if we stand together we'll be united but then if we stand alone we will never ever be united and that will be the downfall of us so let me know what you think about this video otherwise i loved it loved it loved everything about it let me know make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video